morning. We have a very exciting workout today. I'm gonna take you guys with me because we have a special guest. You guys are gonna be so excited. I'm so excited. But Everett was up at 3.30 this morning. His poor teeth, poor kid. So he's already down for a nap and it's literally 9 a.m. So I have time to get ready for the gym, which never happens. Not like I'm gonna get fancy, but I could if I wanted to. So I love that for me. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on how I'm feeling on the 2.5 milligrams of Munjaro. Night and day difference, night and day difference. I feel so much better. I have not had any acid reflux issues. Knock on wood because I'm so thankful and um, I'm still losing weight without having to shit my pants. I love that for us and I just feel really good. And the hunger is gone, the food noise is gone again, like I'm feeling more like myself. and. I just felt my collarbone and I thought it was a tumor. Every time like I feel like bones, I'm like, oh gosh, something's wrong with me. What is it? It's a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's my collarbones. This whole room right now and shit like this whole bath, like my whole upstairs of my house is destroyed, but the downstairs is clean. So take a win where you can get it, babe. I have clothes on. You guys, Everett never naps hardly ever so the fact that he's asleep at this time in the morning is strange i never get to get ready for the gym i'm also going to be filming a uh, magic spoon instagram story i'll give you guys a little sneak a peek how that works it's not that hard but the reason i'm telling you that is because i'm putting makeup on and i never put makeup on to go to the gym i'm just putting the smallest amount on because it's gonna all get sweat off but I have to do something with these eye bags. They're horrendous. Magic Spoon, by the way, is cereal. This isn't sponsored, obviously. But I work with them. I've worked with them for a while now. Probably a few years, which that's wild. I started working with them during my keto days. And it's just carried on through. And the kids love this stuff. So I have to film it today, though, for Instagram. Per use, it's due today. You can ask my mom my whole life. Basically, any project or homework, I thrive when it's the due date. <laughs> I am a procrastinator to my core, and those, those are just some things that you can't fix, you know? No matter how hard I try, no matter how many planners I have, it's just one of those things that I can't shake. I'm a procrastinator to my core. I have talked about Magic Spoon several times over the last few years. This has protein in it, and I'm a big thing. I oh, hold on, my brain. I'm gonna have a bag of box, a box of magic spoon. I know what to say, but every time I go to say it, like my brain starts to fry. This zero total as as zero <laughs> has no caffeine in it. I'll tell you that. And that, my friends, is how we make Instagram. <laughs> and I really am gonna eat this bowl of cereal before the gym because. I can't. I work with brands and there's only ever stuff that I love or that I enjoy using or that I, you know, want to share. But it's life changing for my family to be able to do this for a living. It's part of like my job. But it's, I've said this over on Instagram a few times, like it is not lost on me how blessed I am to be able to do this and be able to be home with my kids and all the things that life entails. I don't have to miss much, but that's part of my day. So I have to edit that. My gym partner is on her way. There's Hi. my special guest, it's Caitlin. <laughs> Ready to work out. I know, I was like, you wanna come work out with me? Heck yeah. We were planning on hanging out anyway, so I might as well just like exercise together. And this is the cutest beach town. I love New Smyrna, it's so adorable. You should move here. I would love to. <laughs> come on, Kdale. Come on, Kdale. Upward Trend is literally right there. I didn't see it because I was. I was it doesn't look like a school. So I mean, I've seen it in the vlog a thousand times, so I'll have to like. Check Welcome it out when to we go my by. home oh, away from home. So, so Florida, isn't know? it? That's my thing. It's like palm trees and like you can smell the the fresh, the beach salty air because the beach is literally right there. Yeah, and the river's there. Yeah, move here. <laughs> it's our town. It's kind of like St. Augustine. Like it a is. little bit. It reminds mm -hmm. me a little bit of St. Augustine. And now everybody loves it here, so they're coming. So yeah. Caitlin is here today. I'm gonna do a famous crazy workout. I but you gotta do it in fast, like fast speed. Yeah, like to I'll, make it look like we're like <laughs> Caitlin's like, I don't know if I can keep up. I'm like, are you freaking kidding no, me? No, I'm so weak. I'm like SpongeBob or Gumby. Like I never I, I don't do I don't strength train. 
And I used to make, I didn't used to make fun of. We all kind of used to tease you. Everybody for, too? For working out, which is so dumb. But it's, I just run. I for run. running, we were like, why yeah. would you like running? But now I get I, it. It's like my thing, it just, it brings me like peace and it gets me like. Out of your head? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like free therapy. That's what I always say, it's free therapy. It really is. It makes me feel better, but I'm not like a gym rat, so I'm out of my element just a little bit. But. We're gonna stretch and it's well. gonna be such a good time. So let's. Oh, we gotta stretch. Okay. Oh, we do. We need to warm up. Somebody asked me the other day if we were still friends. I was like, yeah, what the freak. You look so good, by the way. Like, for real. No, you're like a different person. Am I'm like, I? yeah. Because sometimes I don't feel like I mean, you are always like beautiful and pretty, but like, you're totally, you're just like glowing. You are. Stop. Caitlin. <laughs> you're listening. I don't know if it's. Left it's left. the sweat and the moisturizer and the oh stress. No, you know why I think it is? Is because I'm actually feel good in my body and I don't feel miserable. Because when you don't feel good, yeah, you don't look good. And it's not like running and like whatever other crazy shenanigans I do. Like it's never been about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do, I'm just gonna copy you. <laughs> but no, I just enjoy it, and it's one of those things. The more consistent you can be I feel like you're like treating yourself it is really self-care you're honoring yourself by like sticking to your commitment and like discipline yeah and like when I run like once a month it sucks yeah. it's the most painful work like run mm -hmm. but if I can do it consistently I'm like man this feels good I feel better it I have more so energy yes it's yeah. take the best form of self-care is exercise and eating right Absolutely. You it's can't like you're, truly you're love treating yourself. yourself. Like, we got one body. Right. Right. Why did I not think about these things when I was like oh, shoving all the food stop. and liquor into my gullet? Stop it. Stop it right now. But honestly, I've never felt better in my life. So. I'm so happy. Touch I those toes, Caitlin. Oh. <laughs> there we go. A little baby <laughs> out. At least yours don't hang to the ground. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. So we're going to start by getting It's exercise. Yeah. Look at all these work. So you're gonna do half. Keep your foot up if you can. It's kind of tricky. It's cool to the back. Yeah, I don't know if that's right. So if you're like flimsy, just do what you can. So we're gonna do ten up on this side and then we'll put you down. Perfect. Ready? Yeah. Half. Okay. Okay. Whoa! See? Feel it already. Caitlin, how was the gym? That's his life. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm like in gym mode. I'm like, okay, we're doing this. I know. Okay, we're doing that. Now I'm done. It's getting that time of year in Florida where it's like by 11 o'clock. It's hot. You gotta get indoors. It's so hot. But it was a nice, very nice start to the morning. I definitely feel better. I'm glad that you drove down here. I know. I wish I had more time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go get a smoothie though. I'm trying to convince her to move here. It won't happen because <laughs> Kato's got like all the things up oh, there. Kato would kill me if I moved him away from Big Guys in Grandma's say, house. He'd be oh. like, mm, absolutely he'd not. He'd be like, no, I'm getting on my bike and I'm driving back. He's I'm, like, I'm riding it back. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Big Guy's the guy. We just got done swimming. It's 
the evening the next day. It's busy, busy times around here. I have a little Target haul I thought I'd show you. So this video is probably going out tonight because I just edited the first half of it while I was putting Ev down. And yes, it's 7 p.m. And he is down. I love that for me so much. It's barely 7 p.m. He's exhausted and it's dress up week at Ella's school and I totally dropped the ball and we didn't dress up. This is the thing is obviously with us losing the house, there's just things that I don't have. I have to repurchase like all seasonal stuff. Things you just don't think about until you need them. We had bathing suits. We had like random things that would make dress up day easier, um, but nothing's impossible. And another reason to go to Target. <sighs> Cry, 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 right? Anywho, sir. So that's kind of what happened with dress up day. I just, and it's the end of the year. Shit's nuts. Amy and Lindsay, I love you both so much. You are queens, angels sent from heaven above. Why are we doing dress up days? Is it good for the staff and for your morality, morality, for the morale? Because if that's the case, I'm totally down. But if you guys feel like you're doing it for the parents and you need to do it for us, just saying, I'm totally fine without dress up days. But with that being said, I'm not gonna miss the next two. So tomorrow is like spirit day, so all school colors, I have that already. And then the next day is um, like, what was it? It's a 90s theme, I'll put it right here. Anyway, so I got all of these like pink nylon shorts and this really hot pink. I figured neon colors, this kind of windbreaker material. Um, I thought this was kind of 90s vibe that's back in style now so it's not really a lost trend um but i got her this to wear and some butterfly hair clips i wore these faithfully if i can find a picture of myself with my butterfly clips in i'm going to insert it here i love butterfly clips still to this day and i got her some like clip in hair this is a stretch i don't know if this will actually work out but I saw it and I bought it. Anyway, that part of the haul. And then I got, I love a sparkling water. I got some caffeinated sparkling water. Two bags of this rice. Don't make fun of me for these, but every once in a while you want mashed potatoes and you just don't feel like peeling potatoes or buying potatoes. These are a dollar and you have them all the time. I'm also a prepper. I know I say that a lot, but like having stuff like this in our pantry makes me feel better. Uh, what else? Oh, I got a free magic eraser. This peony, 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 which is my favorite flower. Peony, peony, peony. I don't know. It's peony, peony. Woo. Peony. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Uh, scented Mrs. Myers cleaner. It smells so good. And then I got this to try. I've never had granite in my house, but this is a daily granite cleaner. I don't even really know if this is granite, but it's something. And it needs a good scrub. I feel like it's never clean enough. So I got this to try. If you've tried this, let me know down below if you like it. Ella's already into stuff like this, but I got her a Tamagotchi for Christmas. So her Tamagotchi is going to go with her fit on Friday. I hate missing stuff like that. I feel like a bad mom when I like drop the ball on dress up days and stuff like that. I don't know why. I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world who feels that way, but I always feel like a failure if I don't do the most <laughs> for her. And I haven't really felt like I've done the most for her since this whole, since October. Um, I wonder, what does this smell like? <gasps> what the fuck? Orange tangerine, my ass. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. Now I need to know how it works. We're gonna try right now. It better be worth it. I don't like the smell. Can you tell I have ADHD? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice. Finally. It doesn't feel grainy. Okay. Sorry guys, can't just do one part of the counter. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Thank you. How lame am I that I get excited about a good cleaning product? <sighs> so obviously I got to hang out with Caitlin yesterday, which was so nice. We don't see each other often, obviously, because she doesn't live close to me and she's super busy and she's a single mom and like, but it was really nice because we've never been able to like exercise or do anything like that together. Uh, Caitlin and I don't see each other ever. Um, it's been so long since I've seen her. So I was like, you know what? 
she's been really supportive throughout this whole weight loss journey and she's always supportive caitlin is that friend she's so supportive caitlin is probably one of the most genuinely nice people you'll ever meet in your entire life she's just genuinely so nice <laughs> so nice and supportive and fun and i had a really good time um but she's been really really supportive in like cheering me on uh through my weight loss journey i hate saying that weight loss journey she's just been great so i thought it would be really fun for us to have that kind of experience together it was a really good time it was also a shit show because it was really hot i'm so sore from that workout and i get i turn into like dance moms like abby abigail whatever her name is not abby abby obviously not abby priscilla and aces abby not that abby turn into abby from like dance moms abby bus driver we're doing eye makeup back here that abby <laughs> Um, but I turn into that when I work out with my friends, especially I start drilling them. And I think I get that from my mom because my mom trains me. So I just do what she does to other people. Um, but I always end up kicking my own ass way harder than the other people because all my friends are so fit. <laughs> Finding new things to do with my friends because I've all I've ever known being friends my entire life is eating, <laughs> drinking, being married, which is also a really good time. Everybody likes to eat and have, you know, if you're a cocktail person, have your cocktails. It's always fun. Um, like a party, like having a good party. I love that kind of stuff. But finding things to do that are healthier, like a healthier alternative and exercising and going on beach walks and farmer's markets and gardening and walks in the neighborhood and gym workout sessions together. I'm just trying to find more, you know, things that align with the goals that I have. And that is not all the time eating drinking and being merry so uh, it was nice to have that kind of experience with caitlin because caitlin and i we've only hung out and like eat drink and be merry kind of ways so it was really fun or with the kids obviously so you know when you're in mom mode it's like a whole nother beast uh but yeah it was a really good time and today was a crazy day and uh we'll see you guys in the next vlog bye